Bahamut Lagoon is a strategy game developed and published by Squaresoft, which was released in Japan in 1996. Because we don't have a box to read the back of. This is Bahamut Lagoon from Squaresoft. It is a turn-based strategy and tactics game, as we said, released in 1996. Uh, this was developed by Square, published for the Super Famicom. It was released on the Virtual Console in Japan in 2009, the Wii in 2014, and for the Wii U. Uh, this game never received an official English version, which is probably why we don't have a lot of detail for it. Though there is a very, very extensively detailed plot summary on the Wikipedia page, but we're not going to get into that too much. This is a tactical RPG, a strategy game, where we move our groups of players around the field, uh, dealing with uh, environmental hazards, other enemies, and defeating a boss of each stage in order to progress the story and move on to the next area. Very different from a traditional Final Fantasy style RPG where we go from place to place rather seamlessly. This is very much broken up into chunks like stages. Uh, we have squad based combat. Characters have HP, MP, or SP for fighter characters. We gain experience. There's equipment, stats, and class specific uh, equipment and stats. SP draining special elemental abilities, very much like traditional console RPGs. You can explore your surroundings, talk to people, and shop when not in battle. To a limited degree, there is no world map to leave and no way to leave the current area you are in. The game's core is turn-based battles fought on a 2D grid. We're assembled into parties of four, and we are allowed a maximum of six parties, which are usually well outnumbered. Two opposing sides act in alternating turns so that each party can move once and or attack once a turn. Attacks are divided into distant and close-up combat. In the former, we use a special ability, uh, fireballs, throwing lightning, healing allies, uh, one of its members at a distance. The range and possible area of effect damage vary per ability. If the attacking party has two or more characters with the same ability, they join in the action to multiply its effectiveness. Distant combat results in less money and generally less damage, but the target cannot retaliate. Distant attacks can also affect the field, like fire or ice, to ignite or extinguish forests, uh, melt or freeze ice, etc. Close up, each unit and two adjacent opposing parties can act once. Very much like Final Fantasy Super Nintendo combat, they can attack an enemy, use an item or a special ability, though you cannot combine those in close up attack. Another big part of this game is dragons. Each uh, squad has a dragon which it can work alongside uh, very closely or send the dragon out on his own. Dragons have their own stats and game experience like normal characters do in battle. Each dragon is attached to a party and it draws a large portion of its strength from the dragon and vice versa. If the dragon is slain, the party will lose the ability to use special attacks and class specific abilities for the remainder of the map. The beast acts as a very powerful autonomous unit that moves after its party does and cannot be controlled beyond simple commands like wait, come, or go. At a battle, dragons will eat anything and raising them by feeding them items is an important part of the game. Feeding can improve their stats as well as affect their behavior on the field as well as the dragons develop and grow into a new form. The player can change the characters in the parties and formation as well as what the dragon represents them. Let's see, the game's development staff included many key members from the Final Fantasy series, including creator Hironobu Sakaguchi as supervisor, uh, Kashugi Nojima as director, and Motoyu Toriyama as the story event planner. It was released in Japan toward the end of the Famicom lifespan, released in 1996. It had been advertised that it was going to be released in North America, but was cancelled along with front mission due to Nintendo moving their focus towards the N64. The game was re-released to the Virtual Console in 2009 and 2014 for the Wii and Wii U. It sold half a million copies in Japan in 1996, making it the 17th best-selling game of the year. In a retrospective review, Hardcore Gaming called it a true classic, comparing it favorably to Fire Emblem and Tactics Ogre. I have not picked this game up since I did the Let's Play of it a long time ago, and just playing that first little introductory bit was a lot of fun. It is a very good game. A uh, little bit of random trivia for you. This was supposed to be Final Fantasy Tactics. That's what this was going to spawn into eventually, but for whatever reason, ended up not having the Final Fantasy name stuck to it and became Bahamut Lagoon, which works for me. We got Bahamut Lagoon, which is great. We got Final Fantasy Tactics, which is also great.